In this video, we'll show you the top 10 things to do in Barcelona. The suggestions are based on our fun trip to this beautiful city. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications. And share your own experience in the comments below. We want to thank Septics, the number one choice for travel adapters on Amazon, for sponsoring this video. The link is in the description. And stick around until the end of this video, because we have a bonus for you. Here are our top 10 picks. Number 10. Park Guay. Park Guay is a public park designed by the Spanish architect Antonigo D. The park was built between the year 1900 and 1914, and it officially opened as a public park in 1926. It is located on Carmel Hill in the Gracia district and features captivating architectural elements, sculptures and landscaping. The park is known for its vibrant mosaics, gingerbread houses and imaginative use of color and form. Park Gui was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984. Don't forget to visit the most famous area with the lucky lizard or sit on the long mosaic bench shaped like a sea serpent. Don't forget to visit other works of art by Antoni Gaudí, like Casa Milá or Casa Baggio. Number 9. La Sagrada Familia Talking about Antoni Gaudí, let's continue to his most famous masterpiece, La Sagrada Familia, a large Roman Catholic church considered one of the greatest works of architecture in the world. Construction of the church began in 1882 and still continues to this day with an estimated completion date in 2026. The church is renowned for its striking organic architecture and richly detailed facades adorned with sculptures and intricate carvings. It is one of Spain's most visited tourist attractions at the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Francisco de Paula de Villar was initially the chief architect of Sagrada Familia, however he resigned after a year and was replaced by Gaudí, who incorporated Gothic and Art Nouveau styles into the church's design. Did you know that Antoni Gaudí is buried in the underground level of Sagrada Familia? And don't forget to visit the stunning interior of the cathedral or landscaped gardens of Plaza de Gaudí. Number 8. La Rambla La Rambla is a popular, busy street lined with shops, restaurants, cafes and street performers. It stretches about 1.2 kilometers or 0.7 miles from Plaza de Catalunya to the Christopher Columbus Monument at the Port Bale Marina. La Rambla was originally a sewage filled stream serving as an important drain for the heavy rainwater that flowed from the hills in the spring and fall. Now thousands of tourists wander around this unique street every day, making it one of the city's major attractions. The legend says that drinking from the Canaletes fountain will make you fall in love with Barcelona and return to the city time and again. La Rambla is also notorious for its scammers and thieves, so much so that Barcelona has been nicknamed the pickpocketing capital of the world. Always watch your belongings and use common sense. Located on La Rambla is also La Boqueria, an extensive public market dating back to the 13th century. The market is known for its wide variety of fresh produce, meats, seafood and other food products. There are also several bars and restaurants inside the market, where you can enjoy traditional Spanish food like paella, tapas and many others. Number 7. Park de la Ciutadela Established in the mid-19th century, Parque de la Ciutadela is considered the greenest oasis in Barcelona. Conveniently located close to the city center, this historical garden covers an area of about 170 acres. It features gardens, lakes, playgrounds, a zoo, museums and monuments. The park is also home to several important landmarks, including Arc de Triomphe, a triumphal arch built to commemorate the 1888 Barcelona Universal Exposition and the Cascada. This large fountain is the park's most prominent feature. There are other beautiful parks in Barcelona. Check out our travel guide for more suggestions. By the way, our mobile-friendly travel guide covers the top 20 things to do in Barcelona and things to know before you visit, including maps, opening hours, links to buy tickets, itinerary suggestions and other information. Number 6. Barceloneta Barceloneta is a lively neighborhood known for its sandy beach, which can get extremely crowded during the summer, seafood restaurants and vibrant nightlife. 
you can enjoy food and drinks while admiring the sea view at the numerous beach bars. Barceloneta was originally a fisherman's quarter built in the 18th century, but is now also home to famous beach clubs. The legend says that this place inspired Miguel de Cervantes for the famous fight scene between Don Quixote and the Knight of the White Moon. The area is also home to the 5 star W Hotel, famous for its sail like shape. Don't miss the nearby Rambla de Mar, a waterfront harbor that is part of the Port of Barcelona, or ride a port cable car with beautiful views of the city and the surroundings. Number 5. Tibidabo. Mount Tibidabo is the tallest point in Barcelona with stunning views of the city and the surrounding area. The hill is home to several popular tourist attractions, including the Tibidabo Amusement Park, one of the oldest amusement parks in Europe, opened in 1899. The Tibidabo Cathedral, considered one of the most important religious monuments in Barcelona, and the Torre de Coiserola Communication Tower. Tibidabo is an excellent destination for those looking to enjoy stunning city views and have some fun at the amusement park. Don't skip the nearby Observatori Fabra. Number 4. Camp Nou Camp Nou is a must-see destination for FC Barcelona football fans and those interested in the history of one of the most successful football clubs in the world. The stadium can seat over 99,000 spectators, making it the largest stadium in Spain and Europe and the third largest in the world in terms of capacity. It offers visitors a chance to learn about the history of FC Barcelona and to see a vast collection of trophies, shirts and memorabilia. Camp Nou is a frequent venue for high-profile concerts like that of Julio Iglesias and U2. If you're a sports fan, don't miss Anea Olimpica on Monjuic Hill, a sports complex and the main site for the 1992 Summer Olympics. This video is sponsored by Septix. If you're traveling to Barcelona and you're coming from outside Europe, you will probably need a special European travel adapter to charge your phone and other devices. Did you know that different adapters charge your phone, laptop and other devices at different speeds? Sometimes charging goes nowhere and when traveling you need devices ready to go fast. Use powerful travel adapters with USB, USB-C and other plugs from Septix for a quick charge. Some even offer the ability to charge seven devices simultaneously. You can even buy a voltage converter for small electronics like a toothbrush, shaver and straightener that you otherwise couldn't use. Visit Septic's website to find adapters that fit your needs. The link is in the description. Number 3. Monjuic Castle Monjuic Castle is a fortress located on a Monjuic hill with a long and interesting history dating back to the 17th century when it was built by the Spanish military to protect the city from foreign invasions. During the Spanish Civil War it was used as a prison and execution site. Today the castle is open to the public as a museum where visitors can learn about the castle's history and enjoy views of the city from the hilltop. Hop on the Manchuic cable car for a captivating ride to the castle. Number 2. The Magic Fountain the Magic Fountain of Monjuic, located close to the beautiful Plaza de España, just below Palau Nacional, is a large fountain built in 1929 for the international exhibition held in the city that year. It has been a popular attraction in Barcelona ever since, featuring a choreographed display of water, light and music, creating a mesmerizing show. The fountain was severely damaged in the Spanish Civil War and could not function until 1955. In the 1980s, music was incorporated incorporated into the light show. The fountain was fully restored before the Summer Olympics in 1992. The fountain is open to the public and the shows are free of charge, typically taking place every 30 minutes in the evening. Number 1. Gothic Quarter the Gothic Quarter, also known as Bari Gothic, is a historic neighborhood characterized by its narrow corridors and labyrinth of small streets opening out into squares, its many Gothic-style buildings and structures, including the famous Cathedral of Barcelona, which dates back to the 14th century. The Gothic Quarter is one of the oldest parts of the city, also featuring the remains of a Roman wall. Today, the neighborhood is a popular destination for tourists and locals with an 
array of shops, restaurants, bars, and important historical and cultural sites. The quarter is also home to various medieval landmarks, dating not back to the Middle Ages, as one might expect from the name, but to the late 19th and early 20th century, like Pont del Bisbe. And here is the bonus that we promised. If you have an extra day, explore the Montserrat mountain range with a beautiful monastery located about 40 miles or 60 kilometers northwest of Barcelona. It is a popular tourist destination and pilgrimage site known for its stunning views, unique rock formations and the Benedictine monastery of Montserrat. You can take the scenic cable car ride or even the funicular to get to the top. We wish you an amazing trip to Barcelona!